The woven plain seam is the basic seam that you use when constructing garments or interior applications and most of the seam samples this is what you will start with. Right now we are going to use two 3 by 4 pieces of fabric. Something to make sure that you keep in mind is which side is the right side and which side is the wrong side. So the right side is usually more vibrant whereas the wrong side is kind of more dull. The pattern is oftentimes printed on the top but if the fabric is the print is woven in then it does not usually matter as much. Once you have your two 3 by 4 pieces you are going to match up the raw edge just like that. Take two pins we're going to stick them in the seam allowance and come out on the other side. So the seam allowance is the area from the seam to the raw edge of the fabric. This is oftentimes hidden. You usually do not see the seam allowance in projects. I'm going to show you with the seam gauge. So each of these little black lines is an eighth of an inch. Five eighths of an inch is the most common seam allowance that you are going to use. So I have these pins so they go down below where that seam will be and comes up on the other side. That way the fabric does not move as much in that area. On the sewing machine, because we have our needle positioned in the middle, if we put that, put the seam gauge right next to the needle, you will see that the 5 8 inch line is that first long line. So this blue matches up with this first long line. If you change your needle position, it's important to keep that in mind. That will affect your seam allowance guide. So, now that we have that figured out, something else that you need to double check before sewing your plain seam is that you have the correct settings on your machine. So we are using the seam number one. And so as you can see up here, the stitch width should be at zero. So it's at zero. The stitch length should be at two. So the stitch length is at two. You can kind of do between two and two and a half, depending on how tight your machine works. And then your needle position should be at the middle, just like we talked about. The buttonhole, you are not creating a buttonhole, therefore it should be at zero. We are using the green stitch, not the red, so the green stitch selector. And then we are sewing and not darning, so make sure that's to the right. So we have our fabric pinned together. We are going to put it at that 5 8 inch line. I'm going to pull my needle back up. Always turn your hand wheel towards yourself, not away. So we are going to move this until the needle goes right into the edge of the fabric. Pull your threads back, your presser foot down, stitch two to three stitches. And then using the reverse knob, you're going to lift it up until you get back to the edge of the fabric and then let go and continue on. This is to back stitch. It's important to back stitch in order to secure your seam. That way it does not fall apart. Okay, so going to back stitch. about three stitches and then go forward remove your pins as you go it's important to make sure that needle is all the way down when removing them so the fabric does not move I keep one hand to the left and one at the bottom because of I'm going to show you really quick the feed dogs which are in those dark areas the fabric automatically is pulled backwards unless you have it on reverse so you never have to pull push or tug on the fabric you just kind of help guide it and it does the rest for you and then when you get to the end two to three back stitches come back to the end 
you want to turn the hand wheel until the needle starts to come back down. That means that the threads are disengaged and you can go ahead and trim. And you want to trim as close to the fabric as possible, just like that. And then the next step will be to press it. So once again, this is a 5 8 inch plain seam. And we will now work on pressing it open. Okay, so we are going to press this seam open. A few things to remember about the iron. You should always have it sitting up. You should never just leave it sitting down because it could cause a burn in on the ironing board. Also, always, always, always double check that the setting is accurate. It's kind of hard to show you on here at the moment, but this one has a knob that you turn. Others have levers. Make sure that it is set for the fabric you have. Otherwise, you might burn, melt, or scorch your fabric. So, I have it set on cotton because that's the type of fabric I am using. In order to ensure a good press, you need heat, pressure, and moist moisture. Oftentimes our irons will have distilled water in them. We use distilled water so we do not have a mineral buildup or any um, yellowing of the water and then in turn the fabric. So if there is not moisture in there then you can go ahead and use a spritz bottle, a spray bottle, or else you can go ahead and fill up our irons for us. So the very first thing you need to do is we need to set the stitches, set the seam. So you will press down for about 10 seconds. Okay, and then flip it over and do that same thing. So that's just kind of making those stitches tight together, making sure they're flat. They're just setting them. Okay, so we just made it flat. That's all we did. Just so you know, the fabric could be a little warm, so be careful. That's another thing to keep in mind. Whenever using the iron, never touch it, never put your hand close to it. You can always just kind of move it around on the ironing board and lightly touch it and you will be able to tell if it's hot or not. Okay, so we now are going to open this up. So we open up the bulk of the fabric as well as the seam allowances. Then you are going to use the nose of the iron to kind of go back and forth over top of that seam that we created and then kind of hold it for about 10 seconds, flip it over, and then do the same thing on this side. So kind of nose it over and then we're going to hold for about 10 seconds. Okay. This still isn't looking as, there we go, there's some moisture. I'm going to do that again on this side. Be very careful with the steam because it can definitely burn you. Okay, so then we have this flat seam and now you are ready to work on your top stitch or some of the seam finishes. So this was a woven plain seam and I hope you understand that. If not, let me know.